Joining us now, House Judiciary Senior Member, Congressman Mike Johnson. Congressman, it's great to see you. So you, along with 18 other House Republicans, are demanding an ethics inquiry into Attorney General Merrick Garland. Why? We, we are, Liz. Good to see you. Listen, all of the Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee have an obligation. We are supposed to provide oversight of the Department of Justice. Merrick Garland is the attorney general. He's the top law enforcement official in this country. He should be above reproach. But when he sent out this controversial memo on October 4th, it raised a lot of eyebrows. This is the memo, of course, where he uh, has directed the FBI and the U.S. attorney's offices to mobilize against parents who have the audacity to exercise free speech and go to protest controversial curricula at their local school board meeting. This is not a federal issue. So beyond the fact that it looks nakedly partisan, we have a deep concern about an ethics uh, problem that has arisen. It has been reported everywhere that the attorney general's son-in-law is the co-founder and owner of a company, get this, that promotes this far left curricula that is the subject of many of these parents' protests. Uh, we need a public report on this. We need an ethics inquiry, and we demanded that today. So at the same time they're aiming, he's aiming federal firepower that's meant for terrorists at parents making alleged threats against school boards. Uh, his son-in-law is making big bucks from those school boards. And one report said $12 million in at least 22 different school board contracts. You know, there's also this, Congressman, more than five dozen concerned parents and students and residents spoke at the Loudoun County School Board meeting in Virginia last night demanding the resignation of the superintendent after allegations that the school district covered up two alleged sexual assaults by a student against two other students. Students. This involves also the viral video of that Virginia father, Scott Smith. He was arrested in June uh, of this year at the school board meeting. What people did not know until now is he is saying his daughter was sexually assaulted by a male student wearing a skirt in a girl's bathroom. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office confirmed the case reportedly, and the student was report reportedly arrested. What do you say to this? What's happening in Loudoun County, Virginia is incomprehensible. It's outrageous. And parents obviously have a right to exercise free speech and demand accountability from public officials. If what is alleged there is true, it, it should be an international story. But you may have noticed so few in the mainstream media are covering this at all. And meanwhile, Democrats are trying to silence the speech of parents. They are absolutely wrong to try to stop them. This should be the time for all parents to get engaged. Do it lawfully. Exercise your free speech, but certainly we have to have some accountability at these local school boards. You know, the Loudoun County School Board, the district put out a statement saying they weren't aware of the details of this. They were typically not given details of disciplinary matters. The question is, how can you not be aware of assaults involving uh, things that are going on inside schools that you have oversight of? Uh, you know, the other issue, too, is a Virginia mom who endured Mao's Cultural Revolution fled communist China. Congressman, she's saying what they saw in China, she's saying it's happening now with the National School Boards Association and what the DOJ, as you point out, is doing. Let's listen to her. When I was in China, I spent my entire school years in the Chinese Cultural Revolution. So I'm very, very familiar with the communist tactics of how they divide people, how they cancel the Chinese traditional culture and destroy our heritage, and all this is happening here in America. They call them racists for a long time, but that did not work. So they have to upgrade to domestic terrorists. This is about your children, your own children. And for me, this I'm fighting it because it's about our future, the future of this country. So we cannot be intimidated. That's Virginia mother Xi Van Fleet. Congressman, what do you say to that? Every American ought to heed that counsel. Listen to these testimonials. This is exactly what's happening. The National Association of School Boards sent a letter to the to the Biden administration, to the president, demanding that that the federal government get involved in this. They they equated concerned parents at their school board meetings with domestic terrorists. Said they might be engaging in hate crimes. It's outrageous. So the Attorney General of the United States responds just a few days later and issues this directive involving U.S. attorneys and the FBI. It's it's so over the top, and we have to stop it. Congressman Mike Johnson, it's great to have you on. Come back soon, okay? It's good to see you.